Can watching the pre-round press conference help you predict who's gonna be the 2023 Open champ? There's only one way to find out. I watched every single interview and I'm gonna give you the bullet points so that you can try and figure out who's gonna win the Open. Let's start with Mr. Tommy Fleetwood, shall we? He mentioned how he's been visualizing winning the Open millions of times. Obviously, he grew up pretty close to Hoy Lake. He's a local boy, going to have a lot of hometown support. Played at Royal Liverpool as a junior and in the 2014 Open. And he's had some great form. It's also going to be an emotional weekend for Tommy. Friday is the one-year anniversary of his mom's passing. He said he hopes she'll be looking down on him this weekend. Maybe that'll take his mind off the golf a little bit and make it more of a special experience. He's had a great track record on Lynx courses. I like him this week. All right, let's move on to Mr. Consistency, Scotty Scheffler. He said last week was all about getting rest. He loves Lynx golf because of the creativity. He really likes what he's seen out of his putting practice as of late and said the media is blowing his putting way out of proportion. A successful year for him is not based on winning a major. It's more about his attitude. And he watched Tiger's winning round from 06 at Royal Liverpool on YouTube. Said it was super helpful. Now for the defending champ, Cam Smith. He had to hold back tears when he gave back to Cleric Jug and said he actually feels like he's a better golfer this year than he was last year when he won. He said his long game is really close, the driver needs to behave itself, and said the attitude that he expects to win doesn't help him play his best golf. He prefers to go out there, do his best, and see where the chips fall. Now on to Brooks. He says he loved Lynx golf because of the creativity and shot making, doesn't think this course rewards length. When asked about his chances, he says, well, it's a major, so I'm sure I'll be up for it, and then gave a little bit of a cheeky smile. Now for the Masters champ, John Rahm. This guy's the stone cold killer. Every press conference, the guy means business. Getting to three majors would move him second all time as major wins as a Spaniard, which would mean a lot to him, obviously. I think he was honored to be included in this list of amazing Spaniard athletes. Obviously, Alcaraz just won Wimbledon, and he just talked about the fire that the Spanish have and the drive and the pride for their country. Now, Mr. Colin Morikawa. I can't believe his Open Championship win was only two years ago. Feels like forever ago. Colin's obviously in form, had a great finish at Rocket Mortgage. Talked about how he absolutely loves this course. Said his pairing might be his favorite pairing he's ever had with Tyrell Hatton and Max Homa. And what I find most interesting is when asked about being back in contention, he didn't say that it took time to get used to it. He said it actually felt comfortable, like it was back to normal. Being in contention felt back to normal to him. Might be wondering, where's Rory? Well, for the second straight major, he decided to skip his pre-tournament press conference. We'll see if this becomes a new strategy for Rory to contend in majors. So after all that, who do I like? I think the poetic story is Tommy Fleetwood. Loves Lynx golf, performs well there, grew up near Hoy Lake. His mom's passing was a year ago on Friday. I think it would be an amazing story. Colin Morikawa is also a guy to look at. Iron plays at a premium here. Length is not rewarded. Who do you guys like this week?